Hey everyone, Kappa Man here, welcome back. Now, uh, as the title may have tipped you off, this isn't a regular episode of Yokai Tales. No, this is the first in a segment I like to call Yokai Sales. Just what is Yokai Sales? Well, there's a lot of Yokai related products out there that I think are worth taking a look at. This could range anywhere from movies and games to toys, books, and snacks. If it's got one of those mythological Japanese folk creatures on it, well, you bet it's ripe for reviewing. So what's today's product? None other than a fellow Kappa. Specifically, a model kit of a chap named Gajiro. Let's take a closer look, shall we? So let's just take a look at the box first, shall we? Here we've got Fukuseki Yokai Plastic Model Series Volume 1, which I hope means they're coming out with more. And of course the name is Kappa, and Gajiro is his specific name. By the way, this is non-scale, alright. Here we've got a nice photo of Gajiro. On the bottom we've just got technical information, nothing too special there. On the side is the same information, with a nice little graphic of him coming out of the water. Now on the top we've got a bit more information about a lovely old man right here. I'll include a translation so you can see what this is all about, but the gist of it is, this man is Kunio Yanagita, he was born in 1875, and he was a famous folklorist. He's from the town of Fukusaki, which is in Hyogo Prefecture, which is where Gajiro lives. Now on the back we've got some really nice photography of the kappa. This is a special red version, we're gonna see why in just a moment. But as you can see this has the color coding for when you want to paint him, and just giving an overall idea of what the kit will look like. Some more nice artwork right there, and another read up which once again we're gonna have translated for your ease and comfort. Kappa no Gataro to Gajiro no Monogatari ふくさき町には市川という大きな川が流れています。子供たちは皿が乾くと困るので池の中でそれぞれ待つことにしました。岩尾橋の So how about we open this guy up and see what's inside, huh? So first of all, we've just got this little uh, nameplate, and I believe that's going to be stuck on the front of his stone. And then we've got the two racks with all the figure parts. Here we've got his hands and hair in many little pieces. This has all been cast in sort of a brown color. Of course, we're going to have to paint him up. This is going to be the stone. That's where we'll be sticking his name. Oh, look at that cute little belly. Wonderful. We've got his kappa shell right there. Not quite as nice as mine. There's the other part of the shell there, and some more stone. Looking good. Oh, I believe that's his eyes right there. Very nice. See his face. Looks like a couple of chicken wings. Here we can see the two magic butt balls he likes to collect. 
When I build mine, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with a green or a red color for him. Uh, this specific one, Gejiro, should be red. Uh, but, you know, I like the classic green as well, so who knows what I'm going to end up getting. We'll see. I don't think this will be too difficult to build, as it's a pretty basic, simple kit. Fukusaki Town in Hyogo Prefecture is the hometown of Kunio Yanagita. He was a famous folklorist who wrote about many yokai, including the red cap of Gajiro here, who was in one of his stories, and his brother Gataro. This is why the people of Fukusaki Town decided to erect these two kappa statues in Suji Kawayama Park at the cost of 3 million en. Well, there you have it. I hope this came in useful in case you're in the market for creepy kappa kits. Maybe we can find something interesting to feature again soon, but the regularity of this segment really depends on what sorts of things I come across. In the meantime, there's another Yokai Tales right around the corner scheduled, so please stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a Yokai product you'd like to suggest I review, please leave it in the comments below or contact me on Facebook or Twitter and I'll gladly take a look. Otherwise, see you next time.